What up, what up? It's Garage Gym, homie. And today, we're reviewing Iron Brothers. Ruthless pre-workout. Is it worth it? Before I get into this here, please click the subscribe button. I got content coming out every day for you now. From health food reviews, supplement reviews, gizmos, gadgets, goodies, all sorts of good finds for you fine folks out there. So click subscribe and let's get into this. So my homie Sean from Subtalk Radio put me up on these uh, the Iron Brothers here. I had never reviewed any of these products before. He sent me over some of their fat burner to try. And um, I've used that. I'm going to review that on the channel. And then the Iron Brothers hooked me up with their pre-workout. So, you know, they're a smaller company. We like supporting smaller companies here. And uh, Garage Gym only just came here. He, he was sent to give it to you straight. Is this worth it? Is it not worth it? Does it hit? Does it not hit? <sighs> yeah, I want to support these people, but I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to give it to you straight here. Freaking Iron Brothers, man. So what we got up in here, Iron Brothers, I don't know. I haven't reviewed them before. They talking facts. They talking feelings. We're going to find out. We're going to freaking find out. So they give us a, what are they giving us here? Freaking, Jesus, hard to read. Oh, okay. So they're giving us a one scoop, two scoop. Uh, and I think with two scoops, where does it even say? Does it say 20, 40? I can't, oh, 40 servings. So two scoops, you got freaking 20. Excuse me, man, excuse me. Um, you get 20 servings in here with the, with the full dose. We don't freaking talk feel. If you're doing one scoop, you're talking feelings. If you take this, you do one scoop, you're over here talking feelings. This isn't freaking Fox News, CNN, MSNBC. Go watch freaking Don Lemon if you want one scoop. Go watch freaking... Trevor Noah on Comedy Central, if you want freaking one scoop. Tucker Carlson, one scoop. All these clowns out here. Garage Gym, homie, give it to you straight. We do two scoops here, full freaking serving. End of story. Quit monkeying around. Let's get down to freaking business. All right, so two scoops. What you got up in this mug? l citrulline Malley, two to one ratio, seven grand. That's going to give you some pumps, some vascularity. It's the gorilla look while you're pumping that freaking iron, brothers. All right. Now you got beta alanine, 3.2 grams. Clinically dosed for all you scientists out there. Pomegranate powder extract, one gram. I don't even get fruit anymore from the store. I just rely on my pre-workouts to provide me with all the fruit in my... Uh, <laughs> in my diet here. So you get some pomegranate extract. That's going to give you some pumps right there. Okay. A little taurine, one gram. We like that. Acetyl L-carnitine, one gram. L-tyrosine, one gram. Agmatine sulfate, 750 milligrams. You don't need me to go through what every freaking thing is. You guys probably out there watching me probably know more about what each of these ingredients does and the proper dosage than I do. I'm just here to get my experience with the dang product. I'm not freaking Bill Nye the Science Guy. Caffeine anhydrous, 240 milligrams. Hmm. Dicaffeine malate, 200 milligrams. So, man, I like that, man. Dicaffeine malate, to me, is kind of like a super underused ingredient. I love seeing dicaffeine malate. Because in my, in my experience, in my experience, the pre-workouts that I've taken, I'm not saying with this one yet. We're going to talk about what's in here. But previous, the pre-workouts that, that give a good amount of dicaffeine malate have left me with a nice feel-good energy long after the workout. I just think it's like a, a super underrated ingredient. I freaking love dicaffeine malate. Uh, then you got some cinephrine, 100 milligrams, and some piper nigrum fruit, 10 milligrams, and then you got some freaking Hooper Zna, 100 micrograms. That's gonna freaking get you focused, dialed in, thinking about the weights, and uh, forgetting about your Tinder dates that you don't have anyway, because women don't freaking like you. Start freaking pumping some dang iron, and maybe one day they will. Okay. I'm still waiting for me. I'm still waiting for them to start liking me. 
You know, what can I say? I'm with you, man. We're all in this together. We're all in this together, you know? So when I look at this right here, I'm going to tell you what I see. I'm going to tell you what I see. Before taking it, I'll tell you what I see. I see some good pumps in here. I see some good endurance, some good focus, and some good energy. I see an all-around solid package that they're delivering here. I don't see a stim junkie pre-workout. I see a legit, legit all-arounder right here. That's what I look at when I see this label. So I'm going to tell you my experience with it. I took it today. Grape cotton candy. Noticeably good flavor. Tasted good. I took it by itself. Had a nice, very sweet flavor for all you flavor people out there who think it's very important. I don't do taste tests and all that. You know, I freaking, well, what can I say? I'm telling you how it was. You need to see me drink it. You don't believe I freaking took it? Then go to another freaking channel, man. Jesus Louise. Okay. So I took the drink. I came down to the dance floor. The energy came in smoothly. The beta came in nicely. It wasn't crazy beta tingles. It wasn't overwhelming beta. I'm going to tell you what this pre-workout did for me. Because I was thinking during the whole workout, how can I describe this experience? This was like, this was different to me than other things I had taken. This actually made me feel like a bodybuilder. This actually made me feel like I was serious about pumping iron. I, I didn't feel like a drug addict, just getting all freaking stimmed up. Where's the high? Where's the buzz? I felt like it, made, it put me in the zone to get me serious about the freaking weights. I freaking love this pre-workout. I don't know that I'd call it a daily driver, as you folks out there say. The caffeine's a little high for me to call it a daily pre-workout because let's say you get the 240 and then what's 75% of 200, that's uh, 150. So 240 plus 150, that's 350. Four, what the heck's going on? 240. <laughs> 390, 390, you get 390 milligrams of caffeine. That's kind of a lot for me to take for every pre-workout. I mean, like every time I, you know, I only take pre-workouts once a freaking week uh, for the high stim or whatever. And then sometimes I'll stretch it to Sunday if I really got to get a bunch of reviews done. Here's the point. It's, it's between a daily, as far as you want energy, stim kind of level since a lot of people who watch this are all about the stims it's between the stim junkie and it's between the um the daily so it, it's more than a daily you know for me a daily is going to be like a 200 milligrams to 250 milligram no more than three really for sure no more than three because i like to keep my tolerance low this is like will satisfy you stim people without the exotic stim. This is for real bodybuilders. The endurance, the focus, this was like a pre-workout for actual training. A lot of you out there are like, you're all about just the, the stims and the drug. If you're a serious freaking bodybuilder, like I consider myself to be, I'm the, I, I'm the real freaking deal. I put my heart and soul into training. This was like what I needed for my training. It was, it was the all around, the pumps were freaking, whoo, pumps were beautiful on this thing. The endurance was beautiful on this thing. The focus was cool on it. The energy was cool on it. It left me afterwards with, the, with that nice, Dicaffeine malate, just good feeling. Energy wasn't insane. It just made me feel like this pre-workout was actually beneficial to lifting weights and putting your heart and soul into training. That's the best way I could describe this boy. 
If you're a real bodybuilder, you're a real serious dude when it comes to these weights, this was freaking perfect. It wasn't about getting high. There was no negative side effects with it. Your little schlong is going to uh, operate the rest of the evening. Your appetite will be freaking right on point. You'll be hungry for a nice meal after your training. It just made me feel like I was focused on lifting weights, not focused on, oh, the buzz I'm getting from the pre-workout. Am I getting high? Is this giving me, you know, essentially a buzz like a lot of these other pre-workouts do? This, and it wasn't so low where it was like, where's the energy? It was like right there. It was like, mm, let's freaking get serious about breaking down some muscle. Me and my brother hit the freaking weights, and we were like, man, I like this thing. We feel like the Iron Brothers. You know, me and my brother, we're, we're freaking pumping iron. We're like, this is geared toward us today because we're the Iron Brothers. You know, it turned us into the Iron Brothers. I, I like the pre. I don't know what to say. I don't mean to be on the, the you know, it's like, it's kind of like perfect if you're looking for something actually geared toward your training. That's what I'm trying to say. That's how I, I can't say anything more than that. Um, solid pre-workout, super solid pre-workout. I would be glad to take this time and time again on just days where I'm just feeling like a serious bodybuilder. So that's kind of every day for me, but you know, I'm not going to overdo it. So that's what I got for you, man. Like this boy. I'm excited to, to review more of their products, see what's in store. I think this is good. Why do you, it's time to get serious, man. The spring's coming, summer's coming. Forget all the stims, all the exotic craziness. Let's get down to freaking business. So, yeah, I like this boy right here. I don't have any discount codes, anything like that. You check out the Iron Brothers. Garage Gym Homie's always going to give it to you straight. Together, let's get this dang muscle. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, you ain't a serious freaking workout guy. But also subscribe to the channel. God bless all of you. I'm out.